On the left side of this diagram, we see normal red blood cell, and, on the right side, we see what happened in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Normally, red blood cells, and other hematopoietic cells, have markers on their surface that prevent the complement system to attack them. Recall that, complement system is part of the immune system that helps degrading bacteria and infected cells. As we do not want it to attack blood cells, these normal cells present receptors, or markers, that prevent complement attachment and effect. These receptors that prevent complement attachment are the CD55 and CD59. CD59 is also called MAC inhibitory protein. As long as these receptors, or surface markers, are present, red blood cells stay safe from attack by the complement system. In short, in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, or PNH, there is loss of these markers. Thus, complement attack RBCs causing hemolysis. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is caused, actually, by an acquired mutation on a gene called PIGA gene. This gene is involved in synthesis of glycosylphosphatidylinositol anchor. This GPI is the anchor for the CD55 and CD59 markers. Thus, lacking, or defected, GPI, results in lack of these markers. Subsequently, complement attack the cells, and damage them. The disorder is called paroxysmal because complement activation does not happen all the time. It occurs more often at night, when blood become more acidic. Thus, it is called nocturnal. Also, blood pH changes with infection and surgery. So, these triggers can result in complement activation and, thus, induce exacerbation of the disease. That is why it is called paroxysmal. In PNH, not only erythrocytes are affected, but, also, platelets and stem cells. Thus, the disease is associated with a plastic anemia. Complement-mediated hemolysis results in free hemoglobin in blood that passes to urine. This causes hemoglobinuria. Also, the disease is associated with thrombosis due to the effect of free hemoglobin and the release of prothrombotic factors from the destroyed cells. Eculizumab is inhibitor for complement protein 5 and is used for treatment.